G'day, g'day How you going? What do you know? Who'll strike a light? G'day, g'day And how you going? Just say g'day, g'day, g'day And you'll be right Now we come to the portion of the service before we do our Bible study that we address some end times news and trends that are happening around the world as it relates to Bible prophecy. Today's date is Sunday, October 16th, 2016. Um, And this is going to be a little different than our normal setup because I'm doing this uh, in Southern California, so I'm not at our home church uh, this morning. Uh, But I do want to say greetings to all of you, no matter where you're at around the world. Uh, Thank you for tuning in and for joining us. The hardest part about doing some of these updates, not only is because you're bombarded with hundreds of different uh, news items and emails, but also getting to a place where you're not distracted or with with things on the plate because you got so much on on what you have to do and get things done and, and you're super busy. Or the other part of it is because you're bombarded by disruptions and interruptions and interference uh, from people or noise or time circumstances. And so so doing these things can be very difficult in trying to pull off. So whether uh, it's a midweek update or even just doing it remotely like this, trying to find a time and a space to be able to get this done. Anyways, uh, the news events is um, um, overwhelming. Uh, the more you're looking at what's happening around the world in the Middle East and uh, what's going on with this uh, confrontation uh, with the U.S. and and Russia and even how the U.S. is uh, talking about doing kind of a cyber uh, warfare with them. I mean, why would you even announce what you're going to do um, to a country? And again, that's just stupid. But again, it's all part of the game. It's all part of um, poly... uh, a bluff that may happen. We don't know exactly what the, the U.S. have planned uh, or Russia, but we do see tensions that are rising between these two countries. Even how uh, Russia had said that uh, if the U.S. is attacking some places in Syria, that they're going to uh, uh, bomb our planes, uh, the U.S. planes. And so Tensions are going to continue to rise in Syria and all throughout the Middle East. On another issue, but still dealing with uh, uh, Russia, how they completed delivery of S-300 air missiles to Iran, according to Reuters on Thursday, uh, this report that came out. So Russia's agreement to provide Iran with S-300 had sparked concern for Israel. Moscow counseled the uh, contract of these uh, missiles under the 2010 um, uh, situation that was because of the pressure from the West. Uh, And then uh, just recently, since uh, April, uh, they decided to re-amp the program. Uh, According to Vladimir Putin, lifted the self-imposed ban um, in April of 2016, following an interim agreement that paved the way for last year's full nuclear deal. So they uh, delivered the first parts of the S-300, a uh, missile tubes and radar equipment, to Iran back in April of 2016. But you see how Russia and Iran are partnering up in developing um, this uh, uh, weapons uh, that can annihilate so many different countries, but specifically, we know that Iran is wanting to uh, use these weapons against uh, not only the u s but more importantly against Israel. Speaking of weapons, Hezbollah and ISIS uh, have weaponized drones, according to Brett Bard on Thursday. Uh, ISIS and also the Iranian terror proxy um, Hezbollah. Uh, have reported weaponized low-tech drones that can be brought in stores and on Amazon, including uh, these model planes, by attaching improvised explosive divides, IEDs, and uh, using them and uh, for surveillance and reconnaissance. But they're also uh, going to try to use them to, to bomb and to destroy. Um, another issue that uh, was also developed uh, in that Middle East, again, a fresh wave of uh, attacks that hit Syria battered second city Aleppo, according to Israeli Times on Friday. Uh, the Syrian residents of the opposition held eastern part of Aleppo hunkered a fresh wave of airstrikes 
uh, on Friday and in, in, uh, the intense clashes between government forces and rebels while senior opposition officials warned that supplies of food and medicines were fastly running out in the besieged city. So the aerial bombardment of the part of the, the weeks-long devastating military campaign by Syria and Russia that uh, the opposition says that has killed dozens of people in the past three days alone. And of course, uh, Syrian President uh, Assad uh, has expressed his intention to recapture the northern part of the eastern uh, neighborhoods, uh, saying that the military victory of Aleppo would provide Syrian army with the springboard from which to liberate other areas of the country. But we too are seeing each day and each week the situation in Syria is getting worse and worse. And then uh, finally on another report, um, because of time and distractions, as we've mentioned before, I found this um, report a little interesting and a little disturbing, how the LGBT group threatens John Hopkins over a report that signs it doesn't show people are born gay transgender. Uh, this came out of the Christian Post on Thursday. The Human Rights Campaign, America's largest uh, uh, national a uh, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, queer civil rights organization had threatened to penalize John Hopkins University if it doesn't denounce a report from two of the institution's scholars which conclude that there is little scientific evidence that people are born gay or transgender, because they're not. Everyone is born a sinner. Um, but to uh, you see how these type of groups are trying to go after even the medical science behind uh, it or the science behind it that doesn't prove what they want to hear. They want to hear that you're born this way and that it's okay to be this way. And they're trying to manipulate the science, the data, uh, saying that uh, this is the way you're born. And so that way it can be more accepting. Anyways, the, uh, the special report on the new Atlantis, uh, entitled Sexuality, Gender, Findings from Biological, Psychological, and Social Science, according to the doctor, a scholar in residence, uh, his name's uh, Lawrence uh, Mayer, uh, who's at John Hopkins University of Medicine, and Paul McHugh, who is a professor of psychiatry and behavior science also at John Hopkins School of Medicine, conclude that there is very little evidence supporting the born that way or other theories on sexual orientation. Some of the widely uh, held views about sexual orientation, such as born this way hypothesis, simply are not supported by science, uh, which is something as Bible-believing Christians, we, we've known this all along. Uh, but this is something that uh, we see these groups are trying to create uh, this theory uh, so that they can have acceptance and so people can uh, endorse this type of sinful lifestyle that um, God speaks clearly about. Anyways, um, we need to, like we say each time when we talk about these type of reports and even the attacks of Christians and the moral values and the elections coming up and all these other things, and this is probably my cry to um, each and every Christian out there, is that we need to be praying. Uh, not only do we need to be in the Word and studying um, God's Word uh, for ourselves, but also we need to be witnessing and telling people the truth about Jesus, telling people about the gospel, the good news. Um, but we need to be men and women of prayer. We need to be praying for these type of people, uh, that their eyes would be open, that they would turn from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive the forgiveness of sins, as the Bible says in Acts twenty six eighteen. Um, and again, there's so many things going on right now. Uh, this is all that I've got time for to report on. Uh, there's hundreds of other items out there that I'm sure everyone looks at, uh, different news reports. Um, but uh, these are some things that uh, grabbed my attention in the last uh, 24 hours. I'm hoping to do more of these type of reports, uh, even if it's short and we just bring a couple items up. Um, but again, it all boils down to timing. And so uh, thank you so much for joining us, and may the Lord radically and outrageously bless you. Until next time, God bless.